Hi, I'm Allie Dowsel here, and I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful foil scrapbook page background with the Foil Quill Cordless Freestyle Pen. This freestyle pen takes two AAA batteries, which you can replace by screwing off the bottom of the pen, just like this. Um, and I love this feature because this means that you can transport it. You're not tied to a cord or a power outlet, um, and you can take it anywhere on the go. When you're ready to turn it on, just push this black button on the bottom and you'll see that the red lights at the tip near the heating element turn on and that tells you that it's powered on and it's starting to heat up. And it usually heats up in about five minutes and then it's ready to go. I recommend testing it before you use it on your project on a piece of scrap paper to make sure that it's fully heated and that uh, the foil is working well for you. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, foil quill foil, um, but you can use other heat reactive foils as well, including the Spellbinders um, glitter hot foil and other heat reactive foils. Mink foil or any kind of toner reactive or adhesive reactive foil will not work with this pen. Um, I like to use stencils um, to make my designs because that gives me like a nice clean uh, line. You can also just freehand and draw with it over the foil. You can use a permanent marker to draw and then trace. You can also print on a thin piece of printer paper um, a design or you know some text and then just trace over that as well if you place that paper on top of your foil and then on top of your material. The materials that you can use, of course, include um, cardstock and paper, but you can also use um, vinyl, you can use fake leather, you can use 100% um, cotton fabric that has no sheen. So, and there's other materials too, so there's a lot of options there. Um, I prefer smooth cardstock, and that's what I'm using here. Um, and I also like the darker colors because it really makes that foil pop. So once you've discovered that the pen is heated up and foil is working well and everything's ready to go, um, you can start foiling on your scrapbook page background. These stencils I'm using are from the Vicki Boot and Fernwood collection. And I knew I wanted my photo to go in the bottom right quadrant of my quadrant of my scrapbook page. So I placed my stencil of the fern kind of coming up out of that and to the left. And then I just slid my foil underneath the stencil once I got it in place where I wanted it. And then I just started to foil. And I'm just um, following the design of the foil. Now make sure that you use a stencil that is heat resistant, otherwise it will melt when the pen touches it. Um, and so that's a good tip to have. Um, and you're just gonna follow that design. And I usually go a little slower than I draw or write. And I use a little bit more pressure than normal and um, not too much because you don't want your hand to tire out, but a little bit more pressure and a little slower speed than normal writing. Um, and I'm just going to keep following the design and um, you can kind of see on the foil whether or not it's actually transferring um, because it will become clear where it transfers. So I used a lot of these um, beautiful designs on the stencils from Vicki Booten's collection and kind of filled up some spots on my layout where I knew I wanted foil to be and I used several different colors. The We Are Memory Keepers foil comes in lots of beautiful different shades um, that kind of match Vicki's Fernwood collection so that's really nice and once I finish that background um, then I'm ready to finish the rest of my page and you can see the beautiful shimmer of that foil on that black background so I grabbed some uh, papers and some embellishments from the collection and my photo and got to work the black uh, cardstock goes on a floral background um, and that just kind of ties all those colors in from the foil. Then I decided I wanted to foil on a, um, a journaling spot. So I just taped that journaling spot down and taped some foil over it with washi tape. And I wrote with a Sharpie first um, and got my journaling lined up ahead of time so that I knew exactly you know, where the spacing was and where everything needed to be. And then I went over that again with the foil pen. Um, and again, just went a little bit more slowly than normal and just a bit more pressure than normal. And that washi tape really just helps to hold everything in place so you don't have to worry about it shifting or moving around while you're trying to foil. Once I finished foiling my journaling, then I was ready to um, continue placing 
um, embellishments and other elements on my scrapbook page. Um, and again, that washi tape just peels right up, no problem. So I put my photo up on some uh, foam adhesive um, to just give it a little bit of dimension um, and place that, as I said, in the bottom right quadrant of my scrapbook page using the um, golden thirds rule um, to kind of get that photo lined up in that um, golden third area of the bottom right quadrant. And this photo is a trip that we took this past summer um, to the Olympic Peninsula in Washington. So I thought it was perfect for Vicki's uh, Fernwood collection. And then I added my title also up on some uh, foam dots to give it a little dimension because I really wanted those elements of the page to stand out. Um, and these uh, chipboard letters um, and phrases are from Vicki's collection as well. Once I got my title down, um, then I started sorting through some of the ephemera from the collection to find pieces that would match the colors of my foil so I could kind of tie all those colors in together. Um, and one tip is I usually like to, before I glue everything down, um, I like to kind of place it where I want it and just kind of move things around before I adhere them to make sure that they kind of fit and that they're balanced and that everything looks good before I start um, adhering everything down to the page. Um, another tip is that sometimes with the ephemera, I only want a little piece of it to stick out. So sometimes I'll cut it in half or cut a piece of it off and then I save the extra piece that I'm not using for a future page as a layering element where I don't need to see the whole piece of ephemera. So that's a great tip. Um, and just, you know, on this particular page, um, I just wanted to get a lot of different layers around that photo so that the eye was drawn to that photo. Um, and that, and also at the same time, I wanted to kind of enhance the beautiful foiling around the photo without detracting from it. So I kind of went a little light on the embellishments, but still, still some layering so that we had the focus on the photo. So it's kind of a balancing act as it is with any scrapbook page, but I'm really happy with, um, how it turned out. And I think Vicky's collection was the perfect, um, perfect collection to use with the foiling and with this particular photo. So then I added a few um, of her vellum embellishments up in the top corner and that butterfly was cut out from the vellum sheet and it's gold foiled so it matches all the foiling that's uh, that I already did on the page. So have fun creating with the Foil Quill Freestyle Cordless Pen. Thanks for joining me. This is Allie Dostal for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine.